so this hack or trick I saw it on TikTok and I want to recreate it for this letter which is E for Eli my grandson's name I mean it did what it's supposed to do but I didn't <laughs> do it you know do it justice like she did in the video so I'm gonna pick up another letter and redo it because the letter that she used is a lot thinner than this one I couldn't close the heat press all the way and I think that's why I went way out and wrong and then my exacto knife is not um working for me so I need to get another one of these so I can be able to cut the plastic off but it's so cool right I want to do it again because this birthday is coming up and this is gonna be I'm gonna take this foam gonna cover it with tissue paper and with a what do you call those things the sticks the bamboo sticks or whatever they are called and I'm gonna try to stand it on here and then I don't know I'll figure it out but that's what I want to do so it could be on the table where his cake is gonna be so I will be redoing this this is an awesome hack I love it sublimating on one of these wood letters with the thermal laminating pouches. From the clips that you saw, I was able to do my phone case with, I took this picture, this is a picture from, of my actual bookcase, it's in my bedroom, this is my Stephen King bookcase, I'm a fan, I guess you could call it, and I just love to read, I'm a reader, and now I'm trying to see if I can do the same thing, but on canvas but I want to sublimate it on this canvas so I can do a bookmark for it. but I'm trying to figure out how to do it like if you saw in the previous clip I bought this off of Etsy this is um uh, what you call this embroidery embro embroidery vinyl so my thinking is I can sublimate on this and then this could be part of my bookmark somehow this could be the top layer of the, with the sublimation on it the canvas but I don't know if I can sublimate on this I don't know if this is 100% canvas this has been in my stash for a while I don't know where I got it from I have a, quite a bit of it and then I was looking on Etsy to see if I find polyester fabric and they do have it but I'm gonna try on this anyway to see what happens, right? We can try. 
and I already have my heat press, which is all the way over here, um, ready. And I'm just gonna press this down so I can get the wrinkles off of it. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry for the lighting. I'm in my crack corner in my living room, so it's not so great here. But um, also, I hope you saw my threads. Love, 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 love thread. And then I have that one over there. So I have my image ready here on my um, canvas. I mean, not canvas. What am I talking about? On Canva.com. That's what I use to prepare my images. And what I want to do is let me paste another one. I don't want to waste too much paper if I can do more than one photo on a page that's what I'm gonna do because so I have three of them on it and I'm gonna print this out and I'm just gonna try first I have to flip horizontally sublimate on this canvas that I have here to see how that turns out. So this is the bookmark. I purchased this off of Etsy. It comes with instructions and the size is three by six, but I um, messed with it and I made it a little bit bigger than that um, because I want my book back, bookmark <laughs> to be larger than a three by six. And then I also got rid of the, um, where you would punch a hole that stitch there I got rid of it because I don't want that I don't want um, to put a tassel or ribbon to my bookmark I just want the bookmark itself so I have it ready and I'm gonna save it and put it on my machine so I'm gonna do save as stitch and working in case I want to um, change it in any way later on and then I'll find my hope you can see this I'm just gonna call it bookmark but now and then I'm just gonna save it so I just wanted to um correct myself the bookmark is two by six and as you can see there goes the little um the stitching where 
you would punch a hole with a cropper die or punch hole punch hole maker whatever you have but this is the one that I fixed up for my liking so I have my hoop already in my machine this is some um, cutaway I, th I think it's medium weight I'm not sure I bought it a while ago from um, Etsy but um, that's what you need to use it's a cutaway and then I'm gonna open up my file I'm waiting for it to open up I have a lot of files and I need to clean it out my USB because it's really slow and showing me what I have in there and I'm also excited because I get to use my new Madeira thread and I have this I guess you, it's like an aqua color like it matches this here correct me if I'm wrong if that's not the name of this color but I love it it's so pretty and uh, the thread matches perfectly all right so I'm gonna go back because it's the last file in this USB so I don't have to go through rows and rows of different things in here I'm gonna set it and then I'm gonna press the end I'm going to an embroidery I'm gonna go down to 2.8 because that's what I always put it on it always worked with me so I'm not gonna change it and then we are ready all I have to do is put down my my foot so it can start and the first thing the first stitch is gonna do is the um, what you call the tack down stitch and that's where we're gonna place the fabric on which will be the the embroidery um, the vinyl so this is we're gonna need two pieces of this and then it's gonna be the 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 one that I the canvas that I sublimated on so let's go ahead and hit start placement stitch <laughs> oh boy bobbin thread all right I changed the bobbin so I wanted to do this first I wanted to see how big of a piece I needed so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little because I don't want to waste too much of the the vinyl. So look how cute this is. I found this at Joanne's. Anyway, so it's three by I'll tell you right now. Open it up exactly three by six so I'm gonna cut it a little bit over three by six enough where I can cut comfortably so I have my ruler here and my rotary cutter and I'm just gonna size it here on my mat And I'm just going to cut it over here by four inches. And I'm just going to use this whole piece that I have here. This is nine by four. So it's going to be nine by four. That should be enough for me to cut around, around it. And there we go. Put that away. And I need two pieces actually, so I've got to cut another piece that's by four because this is going to go underneath. Can't forget that. So cut another piece by four. So this is only enough for, I guess, I cut it the wrong way. 
which is okay because that's eight. So I think it would have been better for me to cut it that way. But so, but it would only be enough for maybe one or two bookmarks, depending on how you cut it. I cut it the wrong way. But I have my two pieces there, and I'm gonna cut my canvas. I'm just gonna cut it just a little bit off, like so. we have to cut around this anyway once it does the stitch down you have to cut the axis I think that should be enough all right so there I have my pieces ready now I'm going to lay this down like that so the pretty side facing up and then when you put it underneath the hoop, it will be, this is the pretty side, this is the ugly side. The ugly side will be like this. Anyway, I'll show you when, it's <laughs> when it comes to that part. So let's make sure that it's covering all the stitches, and it is. It's perfect right there. Yep. Yep. Okay. Now we can... cut nothing yet now we have to put this part of the bookmark on it and then we'll cut all right so we're gonna place it over and we want to make sure that we put it correctly so this is much bigger than the bookmark so it's gonna cut off my book um a book stand a bookshelf I'm sorry let me just make sure that I have it where I want it Kind of hard to see like this. But I just want to make sure that I have it correctly on here. Let me see. Let me bring it down a little bit because I want this book to show. The stand is my favorite by Stephen King. And I think I'm gonna take it off. I'm just gonna look at it. Make sure that I'm putting it right. Put it this way. Alright, so I'll bring it down like this. It will catch that. I don't care if it cuts off the other ones. But now next time I know I have to make it a little bit bigger or maybe a bit, little bit smaller. I mean the, the image I should make it smaller. Because it is a, a bookmark. It's not a iPhone case. So that's very different size. Okay, I think I like that so far. So I'm just going to put it right back on the machine. We just like so. Make sure that it's straight. So that it doesn't come up crooked. I don't want that. All right, let's see. Be careful with your fingers. Cut it off a little bit. I was supposed to push it this way. I'll do it again, but this is just so I can see if it works. Okay. 
I'm not gonna cut this canvas off. Get as close as possible. Because now it's gonna do the what you call that the the satin stitch. It's the word I was looking for. Sometimes I get lost with my words. I don't know, it's because I'm getting older. <laughs> Or what? I'll do the next step which is the satin stitch. Bring this over here. And that's gonna go for nine minutes, so I'll be back when it's done. And stitch. I'm gonna take it off so I can add the other fabric underneath. We can spray it so it can stay down, or we can tape it. Um, I think I'm gonna spray it. Can we just get a little bit of spray yet? I'm just gonna use my basting spray. Let me move it away from my food. <laughs> Just spread enough so it can stick down on here. So we want it facing the pretty way up. I was thinking I was supposed to do it the other way around, but no, because we want the back to look pretty just like the front. So I think that should be good enough. And then I'm going to put it back on the machine without moving it. And it's gonna do the, I think it's the final step because I took away that part, the one where we're supposed to um, make a hole. So it's gonna skip that step and it's gonna go to the last step, which is just getting these two fabrics together, sewing them together. And then we'll cut it off. Finished. Let's see what the back looks like. So now we have to cut it, and that's it. It's done. Alright. 
so I think I'm going to use my my good old handy dandy rotary cutter this is something I found at a thrift store once and I love it but I do want to purchase the one that um, Amber from Bing and Bliss recommends the one that she uses to cut her fabric I am going to get one soon for sure so let's see how well this cuts this canvas and um, let's see if it cut through oh that's good it cut straight through not bad to this side over here all right let me cut here make sure that I cut it straight it's good right about there excellent cut so good this rotary blade and see this one here And there it is. It goes my bookmark. Get rid of this. I'm gonna try it out on a book that I have here off to the side. And it'll just go in there like that. It's just to I love it. I love how it turned out. Just up here it's a lot of fraying up there. Maybe I can cut that off. Let me see. I can get rid of all those little I don't want to cut the stitching see this one I wish I had one of those um maybe I could bend it up like this Oh yeah, that's better. So I gotta make sure that I cut my canvas a little bigger so that this doesn't happen when I make more more of them to sell them. But I love how that turned out. Yes, I'm gonna enjoy my new bookmark. I plan on reading this soon. So I'm just gonna leave it in there for later use. Love it. Here is my finished bookmark. This is the first one I made on camera. And then I made a second one. And I didn't resize it or anything like that. And I used fabric this time. Just, I don't want to lose my spot on my book. But, just use regular fabric. And I love the way this one turned out. And I actually added the the hole and put the ribbon through it. It turned out really nice. And it's sturdy. And the stitching came out perfect. And I love it. Anyway, I will um link the the pattern below where I got it from. And this is where I'm going to end this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, hit that thumbs up. It helps. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.